All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to pitch your hard style kicks using Serum VST because I've found quite an easy technique that I've not seen anybody else doing. So let's have a look. So I've got some hard style kicks here that are sampled from tracks. Um, I'm sure you could find plenty online or in hard style sample packs. And um, I've got a few that I've converted to C key pitch here. So you just need to get one of these kicks that's got the like the whole kick, like nice a nice long kick. And then what we're going to do is turn on the noise oscillator here, and we'll just turn off oscillator A for now. And then we just need to drag and drop this into this little bit where the name is. So that should give us this. It's really quiet at the moment, so we're going to turn the level up. Okay. And then we're going to go on to envelope two and we're going to drag this onto the level. And then we can turn the level all the way down and then turn it up from this little control above the level. Okay, so now what we need to do is turn the sustain all the way off and turn the decay down to about 200. And then from the point in the middle, drag it up and then we should get this. So what we're trying to do here is just isolate the punch on its own. So you can play with the decay if you want the punch to be a bit shorter. And you can mess with the tightness of it there. So this punch is not going to pitch because we've not got the... If we, if we had this set and enabled it would pitch. But we want the, the pitch of the punch to remain the same no matter what note we've got it on so we need that unchecked and we can just turn on one shot mode so that means it doesn't loop and um, it doesn't really matter because we've got this on but maybe it might save a bit of cpu or something if it doesn't uh, loop okay so that's the punch sorted so we can just turn that off for now and then we can move on to oscillator a so now we just need to grab the kick again and drag it over to the screen over here and then we can just drop it on constant frame size. So what this has done is loaded in the wave and separated it into a wave table. So at the moment, it's not going to sound like it should. So it just sounds like it's only, it's only playing this single wave at the start. So that's all we're hearing. Uh, we could cycle through it. But we want that to be automatic, so we want it to play just like a sample. So what we're going to do is drag the LFO onto the wavetable position, and then drag this over to the right, and then we need to drop it down two octaves. And then if we turn the envelope on, it's only going to play through once. turn the volume up okay so next we need to turn the volume right down at the bottom and then we're going to use envelope 3 and drag that onto the level so now we can cut out the punch from this so we're just left with the tail so what we need to do is go into envelope 2 and check what we've got our decay setting at here so this is 160 so we know the punch lasts for 160 milliseconds so in envelope 2, we're going to try and set the attack to around the same, 160. And then we can just tighten that up a bit by dragging that point down. So then we'll be left with just this. So we can see we've not got the punch anymore. So then if we combine the two... So now we're gelling them both together, but we're not pitching the noise. So that's what we want. So next we can turn the filter on. And we turn the cut off right up to the top. And we need to make sure we've got A for oscillator A and N for noise, because that's our punch. And then if we turn the drive up, we're going to get a much more powerful sound. So you can just adjust the drive to your liking. There's also this fat bit here as well. So 
So something like that. And then if we play it with some MIDI nodes. Okay, great. Um, and now that that's all set up, you can save it as a preset. So I'll just call this hard style kick one. And now what we can do is mix and match with any other kicks that we've got. So we could change the punch. Oh, we could change the tail. Depending on the length of the sample, um, these don't always sound great on the settings that they're at, so you might need to play with the rate down here, or you might need to play with these different options when you drag it on. So there's quite a few different options here, and they give different results, so you need to have a bit of a play about there. So that doesn't work. It's worth uh, messing about with these settings with different samples as well, not just the hard style kicks, because you can come up with some nice uh, synth sounds by putting in different waves. So I think it tends to be this uh, constant frame size that works the best with these kicks. And then if you go into the edit here, there's quite a few things you can do to change the sound so you can actually draw your own waveforms on here which I've not experimented with much um, but there's also loads of processing features so stuff like um, remove DC offset and uh, crossfade edges sometimes helps clean it up a bit and there's loads of other things to play around with here and then of course you've got all your effects in here so if you wanted like reverb or compression or EQ you can go in and do that or more distortion so there we go I hope that's been helpful let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to catch my next videos. Thanks a lot for watching.